Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah is a 1991 Japanese kaiju film written and directed by Kazuki Omori and produced by Shingo Tamayama. The film, produced and distributed by Toho Studios, is the 18th film in the Godzilla franchise and is the third film in the franchise's Heisei period. The film features the fictional monster characters Godzilla and King Ghidorah and stars Kamsuke Toyohara. Anana Kagawa, Megumi Adaka, Katsuhiko Sasaki, Akichi Kobayashi, Yoshio Tsuchiya, and Robert Scott Field. The production crew of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah remained largely unchanged from that of the previous film in the series, Godzilla vs. Biollante. Because the previous installment was a box office disappointment. Due to a lack of child viewership, an alleged competition with the Back to the Future franchise, the producers of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah were compelled to create a film with more fantasy elements, along with time travel. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah was the first Godzilla film since 1975's Terror of Mekai Godzilla to feature a newly orchestrated score by Akira Ifukube. The film was released theatrically in Japan on December 14, 1991, and was followed by Godzilla vs. Mothra the following year. It was released direct to video in North America in 1998 by Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. Though Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah was more financially successful than Godzilla vs. Violante, the film became somewhat controversial in the United States as a result of perceived anti-Americanism stemming from a scene where Godzilla kills several American soldiers. In 1992, science fiction writer Kenichiro Terasawa is writing a book about Godzilla and learns of a group of Japanese soldiers stationed on Lagos Island during the Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign. In February 1944, while threatened by American soldiers, the Japanese soldiers were saved by a mysterious dinosaur. He theorizes that the dinosaur was subsequently mutated into Godzilla in 1954 after a hydrogen bomb test on the island. Yasuaki Shindo, a wealthy businessman who commanded the Japanese soldiers on Lagos Island, confirms that the dinosaur did indeed exist. Meanwhile, a UFO lands on Mount Fuji. When the Japanese army investigates, they are greeted by Wilson, Granchiko, Emi Kano and the android M11. The visitors, known as the Futurians, explain that they are humans from the year 2204, where Godzilla has completely destroyed Japan. The Futurians plan to travel back in time to 1944 and remove the dinosaur from Lagos Island before the island is irradiated in 1954 thus preventing the mutation of the creature into Godzilla. As proof of their story, Emmy presents a copy of Terasawa's book, which has not yet been completed in the present. The Futurians, Terasawa, Miki Sagusa, and Professor Mizaki, board a time shuttle and travel back to 1944 to Lagos Island. There, as American forces land and engage the Japanese forces commanded by Shindo, the dinosaur attacks and kills the American soldiers. The American Navy then bombs the dinosaur from the sea and gravely wounds it. After Shindo and his men leave the island, M11 teleports the dinosaur from Lagos Island to the Bering Strait. Before returning to 1992, the Futurians secretly leave three small creatures called Dorits on Lagos Island, which are exposed to radiation from the hydrogen bomb test in 1954 and merge to become King Ghidorah, which then appears in present-day Japan. After returning to 1992, the Futurians use King Ghidorah to subjugate Japan and issue an ultimatum, but Japan refuses to surrender. Feeling sympathy for the Japanese people, Emi reveals to Terasawa the truth behind the Futurians' mission in the future. Japan is an economic superpower that has surpassed the United States, Russia, and China. The Futurians traveled back in time in order to change history and prevent Japan's future economic dominance by creating King Ghidorah and using it to destroy present-day Japan. At the same time, they also plan to erase Godzilla from history so it would not pose a threat to their plans. After M11 brings Emi back to the UFO, she reprograms the android so it will help her. 
Tarasawa discovers that a Russian nuclear submarine sank in the Bering Strait in the 1970s and released enough radiation to mutate the dinosaur into Godzilla. Shindo plans to use his nuclear submarine to rejuvenate Godzilla. En route to the Bering Strait, Shindo's submarine is destroyed by Godzilla, who absorbs its radiation and becomes larger and more powerful. Godzilla arrives in Japan and is met by King Ghidorah. They fight at equal strength, each immune to the other's attacks. With M11 and Terasawa's 8, Emi sabotages the UFO's control over King Ghidorah, causing the three-headed monster to lose focus during the battle. Godzilla eventually ends the battle by blasting off Ghidorah's middle head. Before sending King Ghidorah crashing into the ocean, Godzilla destroys the UFO, killing Wilson and Granchico, before turning its attention on Tokyo, destroying the city and killing Shindo. Emi travels to the future with M11 and returns to the present day with Mecha King Ghidorah, a cybernetic version of King Ghidorah. The cybernetic Ghidorah blasts Godzilla with energy beams, which proves useless. Godzilla then counters by relentlessly blasting Ghidorah with its atomic breath before Ghidorah launches clamps to restrain Godzilla. Ghidorah carries Godzilla out of Japan. But Godzilla breaks from its restraints and causes Ghidorah to send both crashing into the ocean. Emi then returns to the future, but not before informing Terasawa that she is his descendant. At the bottom of the ocean, Godzilla awakens and roars over Ghidorah's remains before swimming